the effect of smoking. Hi, I'm Eliana Morales and today I'll be speaking to you regarding a very important topic. The effect of smoking. Hi, I'm Eliana Morales and today I'll be speaking to you regarding a very important topic for me and for everyone. Nicotine. Nicotine is what lodges in our lungs on an everyday basis from one inhalation to the other inhalation. Despite of the alarming percentages Millions of Americans still decide to light up every day. Coughing many diseases. For example, lung cancer, heart disease, and finally chronic pulmonary diseases. Statistics show that in 2009 to 2010, there was a percentage of 40% for lung cancer, 50% for heart disease, and a 65% for pulmonary diseases. If we look at our current year now, 2011, 2012, The increase is almost as double, putting lung cancer at 95%, heart disease at 85%, and last pulmonary disease at 90%. As we can see, nicotine is a harmful agent that the government should ban to have a more clean and healthy American citizen. Despite of the alarming percentages, millions of Americans still light up every day. Looking over statistics, smoking is involved in 40 to 95 percent of all lung cancer diseases. Accounting also 50 to 85 percent for heart disease and last responsible for over 65 percent to 90 percent of all chronic pulmonary diseases. Cigarette smoking is a harsh way of killing American citizens. However, the government still allows this. Leading smoking is the leading cause of lung cancer, chronic pulmonary diseases, and heart disease. The government continues to allow Americans to suffer from all of these harmful effects of nicotine. We need education. We need to understand how harmful cigarette smoking is. In the U.S., believe it or not, there is 53,000 deaths per year as a result of smoking, and more than half of these are related from cardiovascular diseases. Making lung cancer, pulmonary disease, and heart failure the number one cause due to cigarette smoking. Is this what we want in our lungs? Nicotine? Cigarette smoking is a harsh way of killing American citizens. However, the government still allows Americans to suffer from the harmful effect of nicotine. Education and understanding how harmful cigarette smoking is needed in this country. Did we know that 53,000 deaths occur per year in result of smoking? And more than half of this are from cardiovascular diseases. These numbers are outrageous.
Is this what we want? Nicotine in our lungs? Banning a cigarette bill will diminish the cause of lung cancer and heart disease. Banning cigarette bill also decreases the amount of cigarette smokers, increasing pulmonary function disease and cardiovascular output. Could avoid also chronic and end-stage diseases. Last, also avoiding harsh treatments for these patients and the usage of oxygen. Banning of cigarette cell will diminish not only lung cancer and heart disease, but it also will increase our pulmonary function test and cardiovascular output, avoiding chronic and end-stage diseases, avoiding also harsh treatments for these patients, and last, the use of oxygen, which many of us will end up if we continue smoking cigarettes. Another very important thing that we should look at is diminishing the health epidemic like chronic pulmonary diseases and heart disease could also even mean death in the U.S. This causes poor health and chronic health diseases by statistics of the CDC, which is the Centers for Disease Control. The issues are that problems arise and government is not doing anything to ban cigarette sales. The consequences are enormous. More people are suffering from chronic diseases waiting to die. And our health deficit is in a hole. Nicotine is what lodges in our lungs on an everyday basis from one inhalation to the other inhalation. Nicotine. The government has the obligation to protect us, American citizens. Therefore, I say they should ban cigarette sales is the correct thing to do. The benefit of banning cigarette sales is the satisfaction that we get and the lives that you're saving. We will have healthy people and a lower health care economic cost and a free America of nicotine. Nicotine is the silent killer.